Welcome back to Historic Investments. Here we are at the Ohio Gun Collectors Association in the November 2021 meeting. And we're going to talk about one of the most iconic of Japanese military revolvers, which is the Type 26, but I'm not gonna be doing the talking. I'm gonna turn this over to a Japanese small arms expert, uh, Jim Angle, who will take the discussion from here. Thank you, Lan. Today we're just gonna discuss two different variations of the Type 26 revolver. We have your standard production, your early gun here with the rust blue, fire blue parts, and then we have a limited modified Type 26 that was made in the mid 1930s along with a few of the accessories. Uh, the revolver was designed in 1893. Production got underway in 1894. The very first pistols that were made, the bluing finish is actually what is called a charcoal blue, which is very similar, if not identical, to the very early Colt 1911 pistols. It's an expensive process, and usually when you see these pistols, the bluing is flaking. It's, uh, it's not in very good shape. This particular pistol is, is in fine condition. Your small parts, the hammer, the trigger, and the pin here usually have a bright fire blue or a crystal blue. Grips are made of beech. The engraving serial numbers and the type designation are finely stamped on the early guns. It wasn't until approximately 20,000 serial range where they went to a little bit deeper stamp. The Disassembly of the Type 26 is you pull the trigger guard rearward, it unlocks it, which allows the left side plate to open up over the grip. That exposes the mechanism on the left side. That's how it's disassembled. Type 26 were manufactured up until 1923 in the Tokyo Arsenal. In September of 23, there was an earthquake, destroyed most, if not all, of the arsenal. Production ceased at that time. They were phasing out the Type 26 anyhow because they knew that the new design, which has uh, turned out to be the Type 14 pistol, was on the drawing board. The next pistol is one that collectors refer to as a limited modified Type 26. In the mid-1930s, before production was shifted from Tokyo Arsenal to Kokura Arsenal, the arsenal was rebuilt, they retooled, and they built approximately 325 more additional Type 26 revolvers. The changes that are obvious are the grip panels are grooved, the bluing process was now rust blue, no fire blue on anything. The rear of the trigger guard was grooved. The Type 26 is a double action pistol only. To load, mechanism to open the, the, is on the top. You just pull it up. The cartridges had a recess where they fit flush with the cylinder. Once the cartridge was, a fi was fired, to extract them, you just push the barrel clear down and pop the cartridges, the spent cartridges up so that they could be removed. To get inside, look at the mechanism inside. You have to push forward and pull down at the same time on the rear of the trigger housing. The side plate then will open up, which reveals the inside of the mechanism. Okay, now you've bought your first Type 26. You're looking for the proper accessories to go with this. First thing you want to look for would be a holster. All Type 26 holsters are going to be leather holsters. 
Um, a variety of, again, the hardware. Your earlier holsters are going to be brass, brass D-rings on the rear for a shoulder strap. But the configuration would be the same for these holsters, no matter if they were early or if they were produced late in the war. Just the late war holsters would have steel hardware. Most of the time it was painted. On the interior is an ammo pouch that held 18 original rounds of ammunition in the pouch. On the side was a pouch for the cleaning rod. Cleaning rods for the Type 26 are very scarce to find. Original rods basically all look like this. Brazed at the loop. The loop is offset. Fits in the holster nice and neat. And they are usually proofed. Very hard to see, but this one is proofed as well, right here. Usually about halfway up the shaft. Next we have a lanyard for the Type 26 revolver. If you notice, uh, this lanyard is slightly larger than a lanyard for a Type 14. The Type 14 lanyard is six millimeters in diameter. The lanyard for the Type 26 is seven millimeters in diameter, so just slightly larger. This lanyard was used on not only the Type 26 revolvers, but you also see these on the flare pistols as well. It's cotton. One piece where the lanyard was cut. This is how it's joined together. Has a sliding keeper so that it could be adjusted on the soldier's neck. They could adjust the tension that way. Next we have a very scarce original box of 26 ammunition. This was made at the Tokyo Arsenal. It's a 50 round box. Ammunition is very scarce for the Type 26. Thanks once again for having joined us and Jim, thank you very, very much for supplying such a detailed view of these um, you know, super condition Type 26 revolvers. Thank you for having me, Lynn. Good luck.